Welcome back, everybody. I am C. Money. I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination Player, and today we are playing the Meta Settings Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals once again. We're playing as a green player out of the fourth position. We're playing with a white bot as well. We have some very, very interesting blizzards. There is a one-point hold for the bottom of the map. Pink has partial control over that with this plus four if they want, or the, the, the four hold here. Uh, but you see the uh, Rome... Or, sorry, Venice Blizzard here. We've got the Benghazi Blizzard over here. Those are interesting. The Prussia Blizzard giving Orange a cut of the map. The map perfectly split in half through this Orange territory here. Let's get a good view of that. Uh, that'll be very, very interesting. I don't know that we want to be on the right-hand side of this. Blue also has a one-point Orient if they want it. We could potentially uh, secure kind of some control over a one-point Orient. Uh, orange has a three there. Blue does take the control over the one-point Orient. So what options does that give me? Pink down here. White is a bot. Uh, we could take noob corner control. One point noob corner control that orange could potentially roll. Red could also potentially control and red could also put on the plus three here. I think I don't have very good options. I could sit behind blue here and cause them some trouble. I have no material on the top right. There's rushes. I mean, these blizzards are actually absolutely crazy. Um, but I don't really have any good holds for, for really anything on this map right now. I could try to stay alive in the middle of the board in this two on Netherlands. Uh, I could go behind blue, but that could potentially get me trapped. I could go on the two in front of them. Uh, I could go down here, but the bot's going to keep placing and that's going to take some time to remove. I think we're going to go... We're going to go behind blue. We're going to make blue try to clear as much of this out as possible not show them where I'm capped. The two here is probably slightly better. Um, but I wanted to go on the three. Not a good cap spot. Terrible, terrible cap spot, but not a lot of good choices from the fourth position here with the risk of orange potentially slapping a cap here, blue potentially slapping a cap here. Orange knocks red out of there. This is going to be a position to bonus himself into a second bonus here. I'm, I'm certain of it. I think my... I, I normally would never go for a split bonus here. I almost think that the split bonus is the play. I'm hoping that blue dumps everything here and, and runs himself back into here. He's probably going to get mad when he notices me behind him. Not very grandmaster level play by me doing that. But my options in this one are very, very bad. Um, I could have gone down here. Pink it did not cap down here. I thought red might go on Oslo. That didn't happen either. Does blue hit my two here? They go to the right. They're going to hit this too. And they're going to be very, very, very disappointed. No, they don't hit this too. So, all right. Here's what we're going to do. We actually, we're getting six troops. Oh, I didn't get hit a single time. That's actually great. Uh, so let's go here and here. And we are going to take the split bonus. I don't. Oh, no, we're not. Red is there. Red has picked the worst. Red's cap is worse than mine. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, I'm just going to get on capital here. Red's cap is abysmal. That is... Why wouldn't you go on the one here on Rabat if that's what you were going to do? Oh my god, I was never expecting a capital there. That's so bad. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I feel I feel gross. So he has nothing on cap right now. Keep coming. Keep keep hitting. Does he roll again? He doesn't hit white there. He does hit me out though. I presume that fortified back down here. Pink getting eight. So we'll get a gauge of where pink is as well. Maybe. Oh, pink. <gasps> Pink's behind the blue cap. What? Why? Pink is capped directly behind blue. Orange is going to come take this. Oh no! Why wouldn't you take the cap? Why would you hit me first? 
I hope he gets bad dice. I can sneak up there. Uh, Orange probably just dominates this game now. I mean, in hindsight, hitting me there was smart. The 10 on 3 is not guaranteed, though. But he obviously still has this capital. Pink with a very strange play, capping behind blue. Blue with no cap will probably go recapture his capital. Unless Orange took them both. Wow. Pink, f blue flags. All right, so we go off of this. Blue's here. Oh, is pink not capped be? Wow. Okay. Pink wasn't even capped behind. He just rolled that anyway. That's absurd. And and blue flags. So now the blue capital. Oh, this is bad. Why did pink do that? Red's getting seven. I didn't remove them from here. I almost need to let red get big. Blue flags. So where is the original pink capital is the question. Oh my god, this game's bonkers already. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos lately. I've been having a lot of fun making them. And I want to give a shout out to many New subscribers to the channel. We've got Ecaps, Coning Spook, uh, Yah uh, Yaya Berhal, Crystal Fish, Raining, Jack Slayer, Benji Davila, Goncalo uh, Kempene, uh, Mark Fogel DC, Patrick Lynch, Jesse Greenslade, and Marfin Matnor. Uh, any of you who heard your name there that subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Greatly appreciate your contribution to the channel and supporting me. And if you want a shout out, just like any of those uh, people previously mentioned, all you got to do is subscribe and make sure you have public subscriptions on. I'll give you the shout out that you so deserve. Now, I need to try to take Noob Corner, I think. Because I'm not going to be able to survive down here. Hopefully, Orange just takes a very long time to decide what they want to do. But they're going to snowball this game out of control, I think. Um... Orange is in a good spot. Let's uh, let's run through the players in the game. The orange player, General Rambo from Cyprus. The white player was named General the Hawk, but they did not uh, stick with us here. Uh, we have the blue player, Botted Out, Havoc from Ireland. Orange didn't take a card there. Orange card skip. Don't think card skipping makes any sense, but when you have most of the board, I suppose it works for you. Um, did pink keep their cap? Pink does still have a capital. So we almost want red to take this. Seven on three, I can win that. We're not going to add anything to my cap here. I think I'm going to get rolled out of there by orange anyway. Uh, I'm not going to show... Ah, you know what? I take as many territories as I can here. Orange does not take a card. Card skipping when there's a bot and a player flagged, I, I really don't think is worth it. Um... Especially if people are forced to trade in. But there's really no way to stop Orange here. The only way that stop Orange with the, this double capital setup is if Pink is up here. And I had no material. I only had the two here on Bulgaria. I had nothing else. So we almost have to let Red get big. And hope for the best. They have some material up here that Orange has not yet removed. And that Pink is capped up here as well. We don't know where Pink is capped. But uh, you see Orange placed more on this cap. He probably assumes that I am back here, which is a correct assumption. I think the middle of the board capital is more important. Still getting 17. We'll get two extra this turn as long as... Uh, well, Red didn't remove us as long as Orange doesn't come up into the noob corner and remove us. I don't really want to show him that I'm up here, though. Ah, we're, we're very much between a rock and a hard place here. Orange is taking a very long time to decide what they want to do, but almost just strengthening their borders here with this setup. I mean, this is a two point plus 25 hold, or 20, 23 hold, 15 plus 8. He takes this bonus. That's actually good. He takes that bonus in front of red, so red should just exit out and take that. Um, I might actually place troops here in Netherlands and dip up and try to hit London. Um, but we do need to keep our capital strong. Uh, 
Yeah, we're just going to stop there. I want to hit white out of there, but it's obviously the bot. Red's getting plus 14. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So red should go directly up into orange here. Yeah, and you don't you don't slow down. You keep your foot on the gas here, Red. Yeah, Orange is getting mad, but it's like you took this bonus directly in front of him, brother. You, I don't know why Orange wouldn't be clearing out top right. Orange loses this game by if Pink is capped up here in uh, in Eastern Europe or Russia. That's how Orange loses this game. He he loses this game by giving those players the opportunity to to break him. So. I will keep an eye on uh, what happens. Yeah, Pink has one of these bonuses. Does he have Eastern Europe? No, I think he's probably got Russia because he was getting six on the previous turn. So actually, I mean, leaving the door open for Orange is a big mistake in my opinion. Good for Pink that he was able to capture that. The problem is, is that I think Orange's capital. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't do any meaningful breaking there though. And Orange is going clapping right back into either. Either red or pink here. I'm not sure which. Trades are coming in soon. I will be trading first. Orange is laughing. Because either red or pink left a capital completely undefended there. May have been red. We're going to do just enough to take this. Rest on cap. We're playing this smart. We're playing a little slow here. I know it's not my favorite thing to do. Um, but I uh, just I'm going for what I can go for without irritating anybody. I believe red lost their capital. Red sets in only gets the four trade. They didn't because they had a bad cap and they didn't leave it defended. And that is uh, kind of a recipe for disaster in the game of risk. Hopefully he had a big external stack that Orange just avoided, but I'm worried that that's not the case here and that Red is basically on the verge of death if Pink doesn't do anything. Now, Pink seemingly did not break Orange. I would imagine Orange has some pretty hefty defenses here on Hungary and Romania, but he doesn't control all of this yet. Red does recapture their capital, uh, but Orange is basically going to full send them every turn. Pink now getting 15. So Pink was getting 13. They captured... Uh, at least four territories on that last turn to put themselves up to 15. Now, they might not want to irritate Orange. They just take a card and pass. Orange is getting 16 now. He was getting 15 on the previous turn, so Red did not eliminate much there. Most of this centralized around his capitals, I, presumably going back in and hitting Red. White still has its cap. I wonder if it's in the corner here. One, either this corner... Georgia, or up by uh, pink and whatnot in here. We're going to have to set in. So we'll take our set in. Let's get this up to 30. Just drop a 5 here, and then the rest I'm going to put up here. I don't really want to alarm orange. There's a 9 there. What is that doing there? Hmm. This is not part of the Russia bonus, brother. Why do you have that there? Peculiar play by pink. Very, very peculiar play by pink. Red, back to 14. Interesting. Orange let red hold down here. And he goes heavy up into orange. And then stops. The problem, Red, this is, Red's not a very good player, unfortunately. I feel bad for them. Uh, Pink is getting plus 23. This is where I'm wondering if Orange can start. Now, Pink needs to make the play here to break both of Orange's bonuses. If he puts troops up here, not worth it. This is just a strange play. This is not the right play here. This is going to be yoinking the bonus away from me, I think. No... Oh, no, I see what's happening. He's building He's building a backwards hit towards uh Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Orange is going to go in and try to kill Red. He's going to fail this kill. 
Orange is going to fail the kill on red. And I'm going to get fed this. No, he just goes in and breaks. He hits the 14 and breaks. It doesn't go all the way in. Why would he do that? I think orange is, is spoiling what would otherwise be a pretty good position. I'm going to hit red out of here and not give them a chance to retaliate. I think pink was letting me take this bonus. Maybe. We're going to try for it. I'm not going to open up their big stack, though. I'm just going to tell them thanks. And we're going to go back here. I think that's what Pink was doing. And then he's got a roaming stack over here that he doesn't have to break orange with. I think that's the motivation behind it. Now, red, red... Okay, red was down to eight. So red did get fully broken by orange on that last turn. But he's going to recapture everything. I don't know. I just... The red and orange battle is strange because red keeps holding troops off cap and, and going all the way up here with not a very large stack when he had troops staring at orange here, which didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Pink could break me at any time, and I have no way to break him. Uh, so we're just going to try to gain his trust and hope for the best. I don't really want to lock my cap here. He's going to take this bonus, right? Oh, he didn't know Orange's cap was there. He backs up to the side. Okay, I like that. I think that's a good play. He didn't know Orange was capped there. How do you not know Orange? I find that very intriguing. I wonder if that changes his approach, if he realizes that Orange has a kind of a double lockdown in the positions here. Now, we don't see Orange's attacks here. Does Orange go in and hit Pink on this turn? Or did, did red not fully clear him out down there? Did we just feed orange the red kill? Fortify comes from the middle. I guess we'll find out if pink's mad. If pink's been completely broken, orange may have made a mistake here by starting a war with a different player. We're getting 16. Um, I am going to... I'm going to be probably be the first to set in anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if the blue kill is available here. Um... Okay, the white cap is there. 23 on that bad boy. There is the blue kill. We'll take the extra card. It sets me in now. It actually essentially puts me at the back of the order. Um, Tobruk we get that's behind me. I'm just going to make this like a 7 and then the rest on capital. We've got the orange cap in here. I'm going to pull this into cap. I'm not going to be able to hit that white capital really at all, ever. But it does mean orange can't get the bonus back here. Um, we leave the card. Red sets in. So we actually gave red a higher set, which is probably good for them. Uh, we got the extra card. So I set in. I'm on three. I, I essentially escalated my turn here. Now, I could very easily be card blocked by hitting all of those blue cards. Red, yeah, red's just going to get obliterated here. O Orange is going to kill red unless pink does it. I don't know. What are you doing, red? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's so bad. I feel so bad for him because of how bad he is. You see the 28 there. Why would you hit the 3? Oh, he's so dead. If Pink is smart, he takes this kill right now and he enters a position where I can work with him. Or he just keeps me card blocked. Yep, Pink dumps everything here. He's, oh no, he goes up and hits... Oh, he left that hidden up there? He's letting Orange come take the red kill. Well played. And he left this hidden in here. I don't know why you would leave that hidden and not point it at something. Unless Red was still on Berlin. Red might still be on Berlin and, and Orange might have failed this kill. If Red does not die here, we go we go take that. Like if we see him jump to three caps but not die, that almost certainly means that, that Pink is kind of harvesting Red here in Berlin. 
Because I don't know if he had... I, I think he had that territory earlier. And I don't know if it ever got removed. Yeah, he failed the kill. So Orange, Orange overcommitted on that play. So Pink has all of this up here. I've got this in the top left. I think Pink fortified to Rhine. But we saw Bavaria with, with, with clear. So we go... that there how much is this worth oh, I think I got to try for it get the kill maybe pink goes down bottom left and takes orange out of there or he just takes me out of the 10, but I'm hoping that he goes bottom left and we and we've won two this. Orange won't have a set here. Pink could knock me out of the middle, and, and which that's just gonna kill me. I will cry. We lost 31! Holy crap! Oh, but you left orange bottom of the board! Do I have a set on three? I have a set on three. I can get this middle position. Maybe. He doesn't remove orange at all. Orange is going to get a lot of troops here. That was a really bad play by Pink. I don't think he should have done that. I think he could have he could have worked with me here. Yeah, orange still gets 13. Did he open up the 30 cap though? That'll what that'll be what makes this more interesting. Cuz I can set it if Pink still has this Okay, he does clear that out. He only Oh, that's only got a 10 on him. We're taking that. We are for sure taking that. I might be able to get the entire left-hand side of the board here. Trades are 35. I knocked pink out of the left-hand side of the board. Ah. I need to hit the cap. And then hit those. Oh, we only lost 14. That's massive. I'm just going to hope that none of these guys set on three. Oh, pink did go down this way. Oh, all right. Well, I'm not going to worry about that then. He won't be able to hit this back, but the, the middle position here is... Yeah, all right, that's fine. Take the pocket, dude. We work against orange here. Orange with 13. You're not going to be able to take this. Hey, he's reconsidering. This is so strange. I mean, you can wipe me out of here, but at what cost? Oops. He's making me his enemy. I don't know why. Oops. Oops. I don't know why he's doing this. This is just going to make this that much more expensive to remove, which is obnoxious because Pink didn't re-aggress him. Fail, 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 fail. Nah. I gotta deal with this clown. That's so annoying. That's very frustrating. 13. How is he getting 13? Pink didn't remove this cap down here, did he? And now Pink's got... Pink's the man with the sets. Terrible dice. And now I'm not close to a set. This then pink just gets the win here because of what orange did there. Like, I haven't caused any trouble for pink this entire time, but pink's just gonna he's gonna mess me up now. He's gonna take this cap from me, and I'm not gonna have any position. And he's just gonna win because orange keeps sacking into me. 
Which, like, I get it. You want the you want the important cap back, but breaking all my bonuses instead of removing pink from the side where you have a capital. I mean, that's how he was getting 13, right? Capital, double capital plus this bonus. And then maybe extra territories. Orange is only getting seven. It's going to keep breaking back here. He's, he's still not retaliating against very, very curious plays here. Not not going for, for pink at all. Puts troops up here. I'm not going to open pink on this spot. doesn't make any sense to do that. I'm not going to let him have bonuses either. We just go right off. Let me attack... I'm not, I'm not, not going to let him have bonuses. That's the big thing here. We're not irritating pink. We're just hoping for the best here. That he can clear out orange and I can somehow enter a 1v1 where I hold this middle capital. Yeah, he didn't know where the other orange cap was. I think that's what it is. This actually, that's, I appreciate Orange doing that because now I can start to, I can rework myself. He breaks me, sure, but I can rework this to potentially get troops on this cap and the bonus is back. Put seven here just in case. Because it's just the three of us trading in. So the more I can get on this middle cap, that's a set. I will set in, I have to set in. Pink is getting so much. Pink is not taking back or taking this bottom cap though. Oh, you know what? Maybe he has. Yeah, orange is only getting six. Pink did take the bottom cap. But pink's kind of card blockable. I, again, I don't know where his cap is up top here. So orange set on three. Does not. He breaks pink. <gasps> oh, okay. So he's he's mad at pink. I'm gonna set here. We're gonna stay pointed. But I think removing orange from the left-hand side and consolidating him to a spot where I can potentially kill him for cards. The question is, can I kill him for cards now? We set in. 37's not open. This would be able to hit this cap. But I don't know how much is back here. So I'm not going to do that. We're just going to take all of this and hope that pink doesn't give me any troubles. I'm not, oop, no, it's not noobs. I feed you. The goal is to feed you. The goal is entirely to feed you and try to play from the advantage. He will double set off of this, but this cap is strong enough to survive now. I maybe could have just, I could have double tapped him and killed him. I might, maybe I should have double tapped him and killed him. Pink doesn't set here though. If orange doesn't set right now, and, and that doesn't open his cap up to me, so if orange doesn't set here, I think I can kill orange anyway. Pink doesn't re-aggress me. Orange does set. Okay. Does he just send it right into pink, though? Or does he sack into... He doesn't sack into me either. Okay. All right, we take cards in the bottom, and we just we just fortify. And we play a position where we, we've been behind pink. We obviously see this giant 48 stack pointed up at us. But... Uh, yeah, we just got to play play from a position where we don't irritate pink. I don't have a set yet, so I can't remove him from here. But I think we full send this when the opportunity presents itself. He's going to set in here. I don't know if he kills orange or not. He won't be able to remove this cap, but he will be able to sneak by and break everything without opening it. Yeah, he's going to come up through me here. He doesn't know how big this cap is, though. Yeah. Yeah, he, re he checked it. He checked it before going for it. I think that's a smart play. Uh, 
Um, I mean, it's really whichever side I can take. He's, he committed everything to this side. And he's not going to break me here. And I want to make sure I have a pathway to killing Orange when the time comes. So I don't care about breaking Orange because I need both of these paths open so I can potentially take this kill. And Pink got broken up here. That's where Orange took his card. Orange is on five. I have a set. I think I just kill Orange. Trades are, trades are 65. I should be able to kill Orange here. Um, knock Pink out of here. Hold everything up on Istanbul on that capital. I'll set in off of Orange. Go break down here. We need this cap to be super strong. One eighty one. But I checked there. Eh, it's not guaranteed, but eighty one. We lost nearly everything. I'll just leave that there. He could probably cap run here. Fortify the. We take out this. We fortify the 58 up to here, and we just see if he can beat us on speed. I guess. Just weaken that a bit. 51 on there. I mean, he, he wins. Yeah, he sets in and wins. That's fine. Unless he gets the worst dice. I mean, not slidering here could get him, like, the worst dice ever. I have a set. If I live here somehow, because he gets too greedy trying to cap or, or trying to, to world dom. I hope he wins this because it'll be overconfidence. He's not. He has nothing on this cap right now. And the more troops he loses here before he gets to the capital is, is good for me. Obviously the 181's open. He might roll this. No, he completely avoids it. He just breaks everything. He's lost so many troops doing this, though. If I can get... He's not going to cap run here. He's off of both, of cap both the capitals. Plus 83. Oh my god, he's so close. He doesn't... <gasps> he can't cap run because of the bot! It's not over though, bro. The game is not over. The game isn't over because the bot still exists. Oh, I have this still though. 22 here and then we go... And we just hold. I, I got it. All right. I've got this. We go here. We break here. Hold this capital. And then this is... I don't even need to hold on that. Still getting 16 troops, but I've got this entire pocket up here. Which is exactly what I need. He's going to fortify the 80 over. Oh, he fails that. Fail again? No, it doesn't fail again. And he very well might be on a set again soon. I mean, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Just gotta recoup ourselves here. 
He doesn't put anything over on this side yet, so I actually, I don't need to add anything there. We just got to add over here. And that came from below, right? take as many territories off of him. Hope he doesn't have a set. Oof. That'll be enough to hit here. 166 on He loses 49. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it. You know, I almost escaped this one, everybody. And honestly, I think this game was entertaining enough where I think it's worth uploading on the channel. You know, you can't win them all. And honestly, I tried my best here. I tried to leverage the situation I was in because I knew at some point pink would turn on me. Um, and I was effectively right. Him having a set, honestly, if I survive one more turn there without him having a set, I, uh, I think I pretty squarely have a chance at winning this game. Unfortunately, does he miss me up there? Oh, he does. I can take that cap. Um... I, I have a chance, right? But I, I have a chance if he's if he does that, but no set. Good game to you, sir. And uh I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, I really do. It uh it is what it is. I think he's letting the bot finish uh, after. Not the bot position matters, but he's going to kill the bot first. Um, I think I, I just, if I got a better cap roll, uh, if I got a better cap roll on the orange player, I think I have a shot. I think pink's, pink's speed, pink's at least a master level player. Uh, no doubt about that in my mind. Um, at least a master level player, if not a grandmaster level player, very skilled player. The players in our game, by the way, I, I said General Rambo, I got Havoc, uh, I didn't get through General Bo from the United States or the pink player, General Yanni or Johnny from Nigeria in the final position, um, but, uh, those are the players we had. This one, honestly, s plenty satisfied with the way that this game played out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A second place finish is a second place finish, man. Sometimes you don't win it, and, uh, and I went for... For a potential hero move, probably wasn't worth it on orange, and uh, and red, uh, pink had some some pretty lucky lucky set numbers there. But we get those every now and then. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about it. Let's take a look at the ranks. Pink is it? Yeah, pink's a smart. That's a that says beginner. I certainly don't believe that. Expert on blue, beginner on the other two players. That is a this is an alt account for sure. The player attacks way too fast and, and, and generally had um, a very good pathing during their uh, their quest there. So, uh, if you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for it, right here above my head, subscribe button in the upper right hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been C Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.